So hello again, a new day, a new evening in fact, and a new project. You see I have this multimeter here, it's a ADN02 from B-side and uh, it's working on volts very well, no problems, that's fine. It's working on continuities. and it's working on amps, milliamps, and so on, it's fine. But there is a problem with the ohm meter. Look here, let's say we have a 68 kilo ohms resistor and it's nothing there. Let me have a, a very small value or a small value 635 ohms that should be okay but if we try one of these that should be like 68 kilo ohms look over there 1.38 what i found out so far is that the voltage to ohm meter it's 1.2 volts it's way too much we should have around 0.2 volts or we can try like this this on one this one goes on volt and this one goes on ohm meter you see we have like 10 mega ohms 15 mega ohms and we don't have more than no, 0.3 here for sure okay so if we take the other test over here we have like 1.88 volts. Let me see this one on ohms. We are on ohms here now. And we have 0.2 volts. So this voltage over here it's way too much. Why? I don't know. So let's try to find out. What I'm gonna do now is to open it up. Yes. There we are. So we have a fuse over here. Okay, and we have a couple of trimmers. Okay, let's take the board out. What I wanna do is to clean this contact with a little bit of sandpaper. I have this very thin sandpaper this is I think it's P600 and I'm gonna use this one to clean this okay one went out we put it back this one is playing hard to get okay not anymore okay that's in place over there Let's try to clean it again. Okay, we are good here. A little bit of contact spray. And now let's go to this one. It's looking pretty okay here. I don't see any problem. Don't push it too much because this is very, it's a very thin over there. Okay, there we go. Okay, clean this a little bit. I don't want to have any dirt there. And back in place.
Yeah, this is okay here. Let's put it back. So like I said, we need to have something here under because the dial is very out. If you push it down like this, then it's going to be a problem. Not too tight. It's plastic. You can easily over tie it and then you break the plastic and it's nothing to do after. Okay. Oh, then this noise is from these buttons here. So they are doing this noise. Yeah, it's okay. Because I'm, I'm looking to see if the balls are in place. If those little round... Okay, let's power it on. What do you think? Is it working or not? We'll see in a second. Power on. The dial is okay. So let's check the ohmmeter now. Yes. It's working. Perfect. So it was a matter of dial. That's for sure. All we have to do now is to put it back. There we go. Let's see. Yes, perfect. So, on ohm meter, we should have around 0 0.2 or 0 0.3, 0 0.3 volts on some other models. And uh, this is, this is uh, all we have to check first time. It's about the voltage uh, delivered for uh, measuring resistances. Okay, guys, thank you for now. I hope this uh, is useful. If you like, please subscribe and push like, of course. If you have any question, don't hesitate to send them. I'll answer as soon as possible. Until the next project, be safe. Don't forget to have fun and bye-bye.